Hey, Ravings and Cravings here, otherwise known as Ruth Hartunian Allenbaugh. I am here with you live in the studio along with Dan and Dawn from the Yummy Wagon LLC. I'm wondering if there are any other hot dog, uh, happy hot dog people out there in Radio Land. We hope so, huh? I, I hope so. I, I mean, hope so. Who too. doesn't like hot dogs? That's, that's right. That's unheard right. Of. So uh, Dawn is here in person putting some hot dogs together for us so that we can try them. So we'll try them on the air, but we're going to talk about hot dogs today. So let's get started and let people know where you are on social media so they can find out like where you're, do you call it a truck or what do you call well, it? Well, all right. Like, so we're in transition right now. We have the yummy wagon cart, which rides inside of the yummy wagon trailer mm -hmm. so we have a big 16 foot trailer that that is sanitary and all sealed up and then we pull out the magic yummy wagon and mm -hmm. set up which mm -hmm. takes a long time and then we put it back which even takes a longer time so we're I'm in the transition already yes we're, we're in the transition <laughs> For the trailer, which looks like a giant toaster, it's awesome. It is so cool. I don't think I've ever seen. It. Where do you park that thing? So, so right now it's 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 being. We don't park on uh, any any location for okay. a long time. We go to the the, the festivals. Just where, wherever it's craziest, that's where we're going. You want to go where all the crazy? People oh, are? absolutely. Where all the hot dog lovers are. You know, okay. that's that's where we go. We don't they don't come to us. We go to them. Okay. Uh, Sounds good. So you're in the middle of a transition and yes. you're going to like upgrade to oh, something. It's going to be insane. It, it just the, the, the colors, we're, we're popping with colors. We're going to put really cool lights all over it. And it's a nice clean kitchen inside, which I really like the inside like the kitchen. Clean kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and, and here's uh, Dawn's uh, made, a, made, made a, a few of the hot dogs. She is the artist. I r rarely get a chance at the helm because she has to make the hot dogs exactly the way she sees it in her mind, and they're, okay. they're actually well, perfect. There is so much to talk mm -hmm. about, guys. Tell us the flavors and the okay. combinations mm -hmm. of the things you have as far as hot dogs. We're going to talk about we're going to talk about what brought you to hot dogs. Okay. Like, why hot dogs? You know why? Um, because we are lovers of hot dogs, and everywhere okay. we would know. go, we we'd go on vacation, and and we'd be like, okay, where's where's the real cool hot dog place we google where's the where's the best hot dog places and then we like, oh it's like an hour away all right well we're in uh you know tennessee or we're in florida or we're in chicago all right let's go check them out so we'd go and we'd try them and then you know we, we would kind of rate them and like what do we like about them what don't we like about them uh -huh. so we i don't know we're just weird that way um and, it, and it's always been our our you know a certain hot dog we like and so what you're getting is a combination of like everything that we've ever tried that we this really awesome. enjoy all right so I'm going to hold them up. If you want to just hand them to me, I'm going to hold them up so that the YouTube audience who will look at this visually later get to see it. So what am I holding up now? This is... Uh, go ahead, That's just your basic um, ketchup and brown mustard. Okay. Hot dog. All right. And With my signature swirls. That's, yes, swirls. That's the yummy... <laughs> <laughs> which I'm not as good at as her. She is the pro. All right, and then the next one you're this handing is, me. This is a sweet relish with onions. Mm, something, something crunchy, something sweet, something a little spicy. Right, all right. You know, with all when we serve the hot dogs, they're uh, steamed rolls too, so we steam them in the cart, so they're oh, nice and soft. Yeah, they're really soft. That's a little bit different. <laughs> well, that's a special nice feature. Touch. Yeah, that yes. is. And you know what I remember, steamed wise? Hmm. Do you remember McDonald's when they used to have the steamed Danish way back in the day? I do. Where they used to stick them on the prongs. It was yeah, like, oh my I god, it was like the best thing in the world. So and anything steamed is like magical. It is, it is. Okay, and then this one is? This is a uh, chili and cheese. Okay. And? And then finally we have a brown mustard with sauerkraut. Ooh, Matt, which one do you want to try? Ooh, the chili and cheese one. Okay, so I'm going <laughs> to hand that one over to you. Uh, are you guys going to eat one? You're going to eat because uh, I'll pick one to eat whatever you Thank don't want to eat. Well, you guys we, we invite as many people as you want. We brought these guys right, for you well, guys. I'm gonna, so, yeah, so, so have I'm gonna, chow them down. I'm going to try the one with the crunch. What makes your hot dogs, you think? I'm, well, because I'm going to ask this question and sure. then I'm going to bite and I'm going to eat. And okay. then I'm going to talk about what I'm eating. All right, good. Okay. But what makes your hot dogs, say, more unique, say, than someone else besides the steam buns? What else is there that makes it interesting and different? You want me to handle it? Okay, so what makes our hot dogs interesting and, and, and unique is that we use dirty water. We use a combination of different spices that Wait, are... What did you say? You use what? Dirty water. They're called dirty water dogs. Dirty water. Right. That means it's, that you put... You could kind right. of see... Yeah, you can see uh, that... It's, it's mm -hmm. not just plain water. Yeah, you can smell it. See, if you, see, you know what? See if you can figure out the spices. I'll, I'll let you see if you can figure it out. Vinegar. That's oh, okay. that's one. That's one. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-huh. <clears throat> well, and I'm eating something, so it's okay. harder to smell. 
I pride myself on my you, ability to figure things okay, out. Okay, well, come on, let's see. Let's, let's give it a shot. Hmm. Is there something sweet in there? Yeah, there's something sweet in there, absolutely. A little sugar? Oh. Nope. Brown no sugar? Sh- no, no sugar. Can I, I should taste the, the water. Oh, you have a you have the... Um, right? Yeah, you have a, a Anyway, spoon, so right? there you go. That, that's the dirty water. That's right. your special secret. Right. So we put a combination of spices in. I will you. tell you that one of our secret uh, ingredients is Wagyu tallow, which is really good, and it's, like, amazing. What is that? So that's the beef fat from from Wagyu steak. The beef fat is in your dirty water. Yeah. Mm. And it, and it really it really soaks up and makes them just 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 so savory and so good. It's it's kind of steak like flavor in your in your mouth. Where in the world did that idea come from? Uh, my brother, because my brother is is an insane barbecue guy, and he kept on na- t- telling me, "You got to use this. You got to <laughs> use this. You got." And then finally, he, he mm. sent me some, and he's like, "You've got it." And so I'm like, "Okay." I, and, and everybody, every I, I've never had anybody come back and say that they didn't like the dog. That that's the only reason we keep going because people really like it, and I think we we've done our homework enough where we know what people really enjoy. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm enjoying my hot dog. Okay. I'm enjoying the fact that it's a nice mild flavor as far as as far as the meat part of things. Right. I I like, personally, I like a, a thicker casing. This has a nice thin one. Yeah. Because so I don't like to have to, like, <clears throat> chew around it and then spit the casing out. I'm like, I've right. had hot dogs, like, where it's so it's the and I, I won't say I know exactly I know all the makers you know, and I know who you know makes my them. pain right no I know because yeah because the casing <laughs> it's like you're sitting there and it's like oh my god is this gonna get stuck in my teeth oh yeah is yeah. it the, so no, you no, want no, you no. want something well, that you do want a snap to it yeah you want a snap but you want a thin enough snap mm-hmm. where it instantly goes away melts in your mouth with the meat and it, it's, mm-hmm. it's just, it just it, it just combines with everything do you use Vidalia onions I do use sweet onions the, I like sweet onions better. yeah sweet onions Much better and they're, I like them because they're fat and they're easier to chop. You know, you know, because the other ones are too round. Mm-hmm. They're, they're the, all over the place. The relish Today. is great. What do you think about yours, Matt? It was so good. I haven't had a hot dog that good, and I don't know when. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. I, so you guys, these guys are going to be at our next third Thursday, right? Absolutely. Yes. So talk about where you're going to be and what you're going to have. All right, so we're going to be on the upper deck this mm-hmm. time. Last time we were on the, um, the downtown, but we were too close to the band. And we didn't get a lot of uh, a lot of people that that could actually talk to us because it was just so loud. So, so Aaron is is, is graciously putting us up on the the middle deck, which is really mm-hmm. cool of her. I th- thanked her so much. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna have uh, you know be able to, to, to listen to people's orders because that's what it is. It's you know all of our hot dogs um, are are six dollars, whatever you want on them. Mm-hmm. So if somebody wants to put you know we, we've got a whole list of we even got more ingredients than just what we brought. We have we have like fiery relish. We have um mm-hmm. I actually have onion sauce. So I've I've got I've got a, a, a whole combination of stuff that people can put on, and, and mm. it, but it takes you have to listen to them and, and write it down. So it does take a little, uh, you know. <clears throat> how many how many item choices do we have for toppings? So well, roughly. Go ahead, Don. What do you think? How Name many? them out. Name them out. Twenty uh, different things. Ten. No, we were always adding no, here and there. We tried certain things. At one point, we did have bacon bits because we thought people love bacon, but that wasn't. Yeah. That wasn't yeah. yeah it wasn't it, really wasn't, wasn't, it wasn't it wasn't a big eh. yeah. Yeah, so we kind of did. Then we had baked that. beans. We thought baked beans would be woo. We're like who doesn't like baked beans? I think that's a good idea. I do too, but I didn't have a lot of people that yeah. that really you know. I mean, I go by what people really you know want, and mm-hmm. so I mean the biggest the biggest thing that people love is the sauerkraut. Well, it, it's interesting because really? it, it's kind of I don't want to say regional, but certain like certain events that we go to, like one event, it's like. Everybody wants sauerkraut and nobody wants onions. And then we go to another event and like everybody wants, we run out of onions. Yeah, you run out of onions. Want, nobody wants so it, yeah, it's, it's weird. really weird, just different towns. Just people, mm-hmm. it just seems like in different towns, people like specific hot dogs. Like one time, yeah. we, we, ran out of, we ran out of ketchup. Like within the first hour, I had to go, I, I had to send somebody out for ketchup because everybody wanted ketchup. Like, and then you go to another place and not <laughs> one person has it. So it's like, I, 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 we, can't get a, we can't get a good grip on it. But it, it, it is pretty cool. I do like that. I, I enjoy when I see like different regions, like different things. Hey, I need a little cheese sauce on this one. if I can, Oh, absolutely. Because I, I want to try your cheese sauce. And can you also put some chili on there so I can like try all that other stuff too. So I appreciate that. You can have more than one. It's really you good. Have, like, I, it's, it's a great dog. <laughs> it's, it really is. And the, There's another one here for you too if you want it. He just took it. I had two. I just ah. give, he, I've, I've seen I've seen people eat five. He ate it so fast that it was like isn't there that guy that has that like record for eating uh, Joey, the most, Joey Chestnut, Joey, but yeah, now he's now he can't be he can't be in the um 
the uh, the whole deal because he went with the vegan dog or the the what do you call it the no meat dog the yeah. oh yeah I heard that yeah, yeah so yeah. he got kicked out all right so tell me about where people can find you and I have a suggestion for how you guys could show up because you're not a brick and mortar you're not no. a business right. you you bring your product with you wherever you go so right. it's portable. So how can people find, like, do you have a schedule somewhere so that if you have any hot dog groupies who want to find you? Yes, we would love hot dog groupies. That would be awesome <laughs> because that they could have an input on how things go. Mm. And I think that that would be great if somebody's got, like, ideas and say, hey, listen, I never tried this on a hot dog. I'll bring it because I just, if somebody wants it, I am. I'm, I'm all about it. So, um, yeah, they can go on uh, yummywagon.com. Mm -hmm. They can go on Yummy Wagon on Instagram, Facebook. They can find us just yummy way, and you'll see the little the little logo guy, and mm -hmm. and he he's he's our he's our mascot, and actually I have a puppet of him as well. I didn't bring it now, but because mm -hmm. I would go into puppeteering, and that would be a whole other thing. <laughs> so tell us, Don, why don't you tell us about how you arrived? I'm sorry, my mouth is. Want to tell you before 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 this the hot so dog sad. world? This is so sad. I'm eating. <laughs> I'm asking questions. That's okay. Yeah, tell us how you arrived to the hot dog world. All right. So, so in a in a, in a former life, Don and I were <laughs> um, were puppeteers, and uh, we had a television show, the Not So Late Night Show, and the Not So Late Fright Show. Um, we did a numerous amount of episodes over in Manchester. We had mm. the entire top of the Cheney Mill building. Um, we used to do all the. Um, all the, the the videos for Manchester Historical Society. So, and oh, any wow. videos you see of the Great Lawn, the Great Race, we've done all those. So, really? in in exchange for that, we were able to do all our shows. Um, we got almost famous. We've done commercials. We did a commercial for um, should I say Groat and Weagle? <laughs> a couple of them. And another we, hot dog company. Yeah, another hot dog okay. company. Mm -hmm. And uh, and and uh, it, the same guy that does Bob's Discount Furniture really, the producer really helped us out with a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we we did the Bushnell, we did for uh, the Read Aloud program. Uh, we, we were all over the place. Mm -hmm. We did live shows everywhere, and and the Not So Late Fright Show was a scary part of it. David Letterman gave us the the thumbs up and says he wished us all the luck in the world, but he's absolutely terrified of puppets. And we were we were cool with that. It's like all right, mm -hmm. I, I get it, I get it. You know, mm -hmm. some people love phobias but um yeah no it was, it was a lot of fun we had we had a good time um we had bands um we got to meet stars we got to go to incredible places and they would just throw us the keys yeah film it go ahead give us the keys when you, when you get out you traded like, that all for hot dogs <laughs> well so so we had a, a tragedy happen in the in the puppet world oh, we, we had our uh we lived in new britain uh at the time, and somebody had broken into our storage facility and stole our puppets and what? some of our equipment. Yeah, they stole all the live equipment. So I mean, we I had were, a ton oh of gosh. live equipment. We were so upset that we 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 just, just gave, we kind of yeah we stopped we never, it. We never, yeah, I never got the footage back. We never got like our footing back to really uh, go back again. But it was mm -hmm. it, and it made the news. We were all over the news. I mean, if you if you. Um, Google stolen puppets, you'll probably still see something. We were like overseas, everything was crazy. Good morning, I, I had to yeah, I had to make I had to mm -hmm. I had to get out of work to meet the escalades to do like like interviews every day. It was crazy. But yeah, we never did get them back. Um, but I had them recreated. I still have them, but I just and and so we our, our cast members, Robert uh, Laughlin was uh, a big pinnacle part of it he was uh he was one of the characters mm -hmm. um so for yummy wagon we got to give a shout out to to kara holmes i know you know kara holmes oh, from the yeah yeah so she, she's a she's a huge help to us um does a lot of our our uh helps out with the social media and and mm -hmm. actually next year we're thinking about doing a nonprofit to teach people how to get into this the real way which people just hmm. like oh i'll just gonna buy a cart and i'm gonna sell hot dogs no you're not were you guys connected to the puppet Pro, uh, program at UConn. So in in we really weren't. Robert Laughlin, he was. Yeah, he, he was. Went to uh, that, and actually, we did I did some work? Be, yeah, and I worked behind mm -hmm. the scenes, like afterwards, mm -hmm. with them helping them out. But mm, it's it's you know they're they're onto other stuff. They do a lot of like marionettes. We do the Muppet style, so mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. it's more fun, and mm -hmm. I like it better. But yeah. And you said one of your puppets is a hot dog. No, no. Yeah, one of, one of them. I always call one of them a hot dog. We did, we actually, we did have a pizza. Yeah, we had a pizza, an evil pizza. So evil pizza was one of our puppets, and he used to scare the heck out of people. Like, if something would go horribly wrong, evil pizza would come out and, you know, threaten people. Huh. Well, you could have a, a friendly hot dog, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, we, we could. We could, could but then what if somebody Frank. tries to eat them? You call know what I mean? Frank. Yeah. That we, could, have it, we could have it end tragically and have somebody eat them, you know, and then it would be the end of the, the, end of the show and be like, oh, well. You know, I would do that in a heartbeat. We're all about, like, really, like, 
crazy like satire. Uh, you got some good sense of humor. That's I think, it. Is what it is, right? Yeah. Yes. So so let's get back to some yes. of the some of the toppings. So the cheese, cheese. I use different cheeses to mm. acquire a, a good taste. I don't want too sharp, but I don't want like dull, like taste like oil either. You know what I mean? So mm. everything that we do, we really make sure that it's it's got that that flavor profile that I think people will really like. Mm -hmm. but I used to have massive cookouts. I used to have people over. I used to do pizza. I make my own pizza dough. Everything. So I used to do like massive cookouts, and everybody's like, "You feed an army, you feed an army." So it's like, uh, now I'm do, feeding like, an army. The pieces that had the char on the bottom. Oh yeah. Oh absolutely. That's right the on the stone. Thing. Absolutely. Oh yeah. We 100%. talked about maybe doing pizza, but um, I I prefer doing the hot. I like something quick because yeah. sometimes when you're at an event, you don't want to stand there for 15 minutes waiting for your food. Yeah, it's we like to get people like instant so that's food. Right, with the hot this dogs. Is, that's one. That's one good thing. So if you're really hungry, you can get your hot right. dog post haste. Right? Oh, and they usually by the time they pay for it, it's 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 on its way. People are like, oh, oh, okay, like yeah, because she's she's on it. As soon as she hears it and gets the order, she's on it. Are there gluten free options for anything for people at so this our, point? So our hot dogs are gluten free, and and you know because they're a can product, mm -hmm. and and people can get them without the bun. I don't mm -hmm. carry gluten buns because they're really hard to keep in steam. They just they, they don't react the same way, and, yeah. and, and, and I don't have enough room to kind of keep them separated. Mm -hmm. Although I, I would like to one day. If I get a bigger truck, you know, if things are successful, maybe I can have a section where they're totally... Well, maybe you could just tell people <clears throat> the BYOB. But yeah, bring your own bun, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> See, I caught it. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's, that's uh, you know... And how long have you guys been doing this? Since last uh, August, August, yeah. Oh, well, we opened last it in August, August and yeah. this is a new venture. Then it, it is, it? it is. Wow! And is this like your full time job, job, or is this oh, no. on the side no. thing? No. On the side, we both have full time jobs. And and Dawn's a member of the Governor's Foot Guard, so she's she's super busy doing that. But um, they show up at a lot of places, don't they? Uh, we do. We're just in the Columbia Fourth of July parade. Mm -hmm. We marched in there. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be uh, doing the, the colors at the Sea Unicorns uh, at that uh, baseball game. I think it's July 23rd. So Who's the Sea Unicorns? Norwich. That's the, okay. Did they change their <coughs> team name? I don't, I, honestly, I don't follow okay, baseball. Right. Well, but we're I, not talking about teams. I just <laughs> got on a little, uh, what do so, you call it, <coughs> alternate path here. Yeah. Sorry. But it, it's great. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's an honor to, to be a, yeah. a member of, because mm -hmm. it's part of the uh, Connecticut military. Yeah. So. Go ahead. What were you going to say? I was going to say, so if you could pick uh, like a, a really cool thing, and I'll put you on the spot, hmm. for Third Thursday, what would you think of? Because I'm, I'm trying to think of something crazy to bring for Third Thursday, but I, I would love if, if the audience can, can chime in too, and, and I can get a consensus of what people want. I want to bring something a little wacky. So whether it's spicy, yeah. uh, whether it's a crunch, whether it's uh, the, some topping, give us a hand because I'm trying to think and I, I need I need this this so, participation. Yeah, I'm thinking <clears throat> hot tots, hot dogs with tater tots on top. Well, I can't fry it on the fry later. Uh, anything with kind of potato something. Yeah, I so I was thinking maybe potato sticks. Yeah, you could do like the thin, like the ones that are crunchy. Yeah. Yep. Like a crunch. We were, we were doing originally we were doing crunchified. Because yeah. we stole that from Bobby Flay. I mean, I'm telling you, we did. <laughs> so, so because we love Bobby Flay's yeah. burgers, they are uh -huh. really good. Uh -huh. So, there you go, Bobby. So you can look us up. So, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, we we put the crunch fry on it, and people really loved it. Uh -huh. um, but it, it, we we after a while, people just the, the real hardcore hot dog people like, no, I, I just want I just want sauerkraut mustard, or I just want chili, or I just want cheese. Well, they're really yeah. like they're hardcore, like yeah. like they they they, and, and that's fine. We're we're all about that, but they don't dither. If you have something a little different, they're like, no, no. Well, and you know, the other <laughs> thing I think of is uh, because I love international foods and mm. I love international flavors, like. What could you do to a, a dog that would make it like an Asian style dog, mm. and what would make it a like a Puerto Rican style dog? Right, right. Like I'm, so I'm trying to. Th I'm thinking, and uh, I could probably think of stuff. I'll send you a message later. Yeah, like I, I think. Wake like, up in the middle of the night with an idea. Yeah, right? like like but I think of like pico pico de gallo. And that would be good for because I, I know that that's a popular or you know for Asian style maybe a little teriyaki on it maybe mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I mean I, I I like I like trying everything, but so that's. That's the audience's job. I do, to I do too. You, to but you got your you got your purists who just they just want a hot dog. Right. So we had this and, guy. And then you got people mm -hmm. like me who are like the weirder it is, the, the better. Like, can you fit a donut in there? Or or <laughs> there's so the weirdest one I've saw was the fruity pebbles. Would you eat that? I would I would try it once. 
It's a very popular. <laughs> Fruity Pebbles is very popular. I would, because <clears throat> I like, I like, I when I travel, I look for a good donut shop because I I will die for a good donut. Like I have to go all the way to Flanders to get my fix, and I don't go down there. It's too far. So, what do you think about like some kind of donut, something sweet? So then I have to talk to talk to Brian from Dude's Donuts and ask him what he thinks. Maybe he can give me some donut crumbles. I have him and I have. So we made a lot of no, friends. No, no, no! Don't go, don't do crumbles. You know what you want to do? You know what crawlers are? They're like the oh. long one. Mm-hmm. S- slice it thin and, and use then, that as a bun. And then put it. That know, is a good. De- that's a great idea. Uh, uh, so that you could call it a crawler dog. Okay, all right, cool. I'm going to steal that then. That's so good. you can name it I after like me, it. too, because I'm trying to make my mark. In the all right. <laughs> so Ruth's Ru- a crawler dog. <laughs> trying to make my mark. That would be good. I, I think, like that. I hey, do like that. High five on that. Yeah, I like yeah, that. I don't. Yeah. Oh, you got gloves. Oh, that's okay. So I shared right. serve. Uh, don't you um, think that's a great idea? I like that. I, I like really, that. Okay, I'm breaking my arm, patting myself on the back. I know. I like that. I, I'll, I'll, I'll get some crawlers. Sweet and savory. That would be good. That would be awesome. And then put like a like some sort of glaze on top. It's crunchy. Oh my gosh. I like it. I do like it. I'm in. You know what? Let me know when you launch that. All right. Or actually, no. Let's step back a bit. If you need someone to test it for you. I'll bring that in. We'll bring it in. <laughs> and you gotta, you're on the air, you got to say whether it's... It, so Copy you know what it. else we serve? So we don't just do hot dogs. Oh, now. really? Yeah. So oh, you're holding out. I'm holding out. All because right. I was going to say for the next show, but that's okay. I'll do okay. That. All right. Um, so <laughs> we do pierogies and kielbasa. What? Oh, yeah. It's a huge from your, thing. Yes. Oh, yeah. From your from yes. the hot dog cart. Yes. Little yes. Cart? Oh, yeah. Because we've got a griddle that we put on the griddle, and then we and then we, we, we grill them up so they're nice and crisp, and then we steam them. So they still retain oh. that, that good out, outer layer. Pierogies and what? Sauerkraut. And, and kielbasa. Kielbasa. So can you you can put kielbasa on a, do, on a hot dog bun, right? Yeah. You but can. Yeah, we, we usually, that's, no, that's, it's that's, more that's, like a snack size. Yeah, so we cut it up so people can walk yeah. around and eat. Right. So, yeah. I see. Get so it. then we I put the it. sour cream on with the chives, and it is like freaking, yeah, pierogies are really good. They're potato and cheese. Oh, and they come out perfect. Well, see, so you got the potato thing there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It gives people some options, too, if they don't eat meat. Right, so a lot of times, yeah, a lot of times we'll get... They're, they're the potato and cheese combo. Pierogies. You know what you could do is you could have like a, ma- you have a mashed potato in a squeezy bottle with a big nozzle, and mm-hmm. you could squeeze mashed potato on so, top. Oh, wow, so there you go. We, go ahead. So actually, um, so we're, we're going to be at... All um, right. I, I, it's been a long day, but uh, I am on a roll. All right, so, so check this okay. out. So we're going to be um, at uh, Talcott Mountain in Sinsbury Performing Arts uh, okay. Friday night, mm-hmm. and um, it's going to be the Hartford Symphony Orchestra, and they're doing a tribute to the Rolling Stones. So we are Googling... To see what kind of hot dogs the Rolling Stones like. Yeah, Jagger like. used to eat. <laughs> and actually, they, I think it was like in, I don't know if it was 62 or 65, but um, what they like on their hot dog is they have mashed potatoes <laughs> with hot dogs and baked beans. No roll. Okay. Right. So, that would be awesome. So, do you think, so I'm thinking of just offering that, mm-hmm. a little something like that, to, the, to you know, and see if people will, will go for it. I'll bring a little bit just to see if people like that. Yeah, because you don't want to have to have a lot left over of that. No. Oh, that there's one sad. thing I, I hate. <laughs> there's nothing worse than, than having left. They usually, you know, I, I, at the end of the night, I'm like, okay, so what price point? So I just move them out. Say, who's hungry? And I just, I'll feed, you know, pick like the biggest guy and just make sure he eats everything. Just eat it, everything. You I know? wish I could follow you around there. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, he's saying it's only two minutes left. Oh, I'm okay. Like, oh. All right. All right. I am here with Don and Don. Tamakas. 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 It's okay. It's Greek. Who are part of? Oh, that's awesome. I'm, you know, I'm your Armenian sister. Nice. There you go. Uh, you could do a Greek dog. I know. I know. Tzatziki sauce. I know that would be good. Tzatziki. With uh, with some uh, uh, other. Could you? Well, you don't want another meat on there. You probably just no. Up. No, the two meats. No, that wouldn't work. No, mm. forget that. Okay. Um, from Yummy Wagon LLC. They have some really great hot dogs. I am eating my second one. This is the sauerkraut one. Sauerkraut's good. Sometimes sauerkrauts are a little too sour. This is one, this one has a nice flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we we picked we we, always, we we only get them from glass jars. Mm-hmm. So they because one sometimes oh, it can so take the tannins reach. from yeah the tannins from the mm-hmm. you know it can really make them super sour. So yeah, we we thought of all that. So. Put your plug in, guys. What do you want to say? What do you want to tell people? Go to yummywagon.com. Check okay. us out on Instagram, um, on Facebook. Friend us. Um, if you've eaten from us before, you've had our food. Google and and give us a, a Google review, review. yeah, because the Google is very angry when you don't get reviews. And uh, follow us around, and if you have ideas, well, maybe we'll have a Yummy Wagon Club, and you could join the club, and 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 we'll have special perks for you. We'll do it all for you, because awesome. that's what we like to serve you. Hey, thanks guys for being here. Thank, right. thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Ravings and cravings. This is Ruth. 
Hartunia Elba signing off here on Good Company WILI.